What's up guys, this is the Cellpick P1, it is the world's smallest handheld inkjet printer. I'm pretty excited, let's go ahead and unbox this, test it out, it can print on pretty much any angle on any surface, so I'm really going to test it out with a whole bunch of materials, so let's get straight into it. Right, let's dive into the box, you've got yourself a Cellpick QR code for a two year warranty. And take a look at this. Now, this is probably the smallest handheld inkjet printer I've seen and I've come across many online. So as you can see from this screenshot, there's a whole bunch out there, but this one by far is so much smaller than the rest of them. And although it's not the cheapest, I think it's so handy to have this in the house to do very quick printing. So let me uh, go ahead and see what else is in the box before I set this up but I'll just put the lid and this together on the side. Inside here, you have yourself the safety notes and the user manual. Below that, you have yourself the USB-C charging cable. And then you have one more box in here. This is the black ink cartridge that comes inside the box by default. So I will set this up with that. In terms of the ink cartridge colors, it also comes with eight additional colors as well, as you can see from this screenshot. So what I've done, I actually have, in addition to that, I have a red inkjet cartridge. So I think they're two colors that complement each other very well. So let's go ahead and set this up. So just quickly about the ink cartridges, as you can see, this is the red one, this is the black one. When you take it out of its protective case, when you're not using the printer anymore, it's recommended that you take this out and put it back into its little container here. And finally, before you put this in, there's a protective blue sleeve there on top of the ink cartridge, so just make sure you peel this off, pull it back, and then you're ready to put this in. So you just slot it in like so. There you go. It's now ready to start printing. So this is the power button. You hold it for three seconds to turn it on, and then you'll be able to sync it to the Cellpick P1 app. You've got yourself the USB-C port there to charge it. You hold this button down when you're printing, and this is the lock for the ink cartridge, so if you wanted to take this out and remove it, you just press that and it will pop out. So before we connect to the app and look a little bit more about the features inside that, let's run through all of the specifications for this device. The P1 itself is very pocket sized. It stands tall at 5.1 inches and it has a width of 1.2 inches, so you can pretty much take it anywhere you'd like. Now it supports printing at any angle, including horizontally and vertically, and you can switch the printing direction from left to right and right to left. The P1 also prints on a variety of different materials, including paper, textiles, fabric, leather, glass, and wood. It prints at 600 DPI using 300 nozzles, and each nozzle releases 18 million drops per second, which is amazing. With a single five milliliter cartridge, the P1 is capable of printing over 90 pages of A4 paper. Now that is brilliant. And of course you will need really good battery life to do that. So the built-in 210 milliamp hour battery, which is rechargeable via USB-C, it provides up to three hours of constant printing. So you're gonna be pretty confident that this will last a very long time to make sure all of your printing needs are met. But it keeps track of the remaining battery life via the Cellpick P1 app as well. So let's dive in now and start printing on some objects and see how it comes out. Okay, so to connect the printer to the app, you just hold the button down to turn it on. You open up the Cellpick app. You then go into the Wi-Fi settings. Make sure you have your password for your Wi-Fi. I've entered it already. It will start to connect. There you go, connection successful. So I've added a couple of pictures here. Just to quickly run down some features of the app itself, there's a few things you can do to it. On the bottom left, you have the option to duplicate or delete anything you've added to the actual window. If I close this, you can see the window is scrollable. So if you add something lengthy in there, let's say for example, a QR code, I'll just add youtube.com. You can see this is the scrolling bar for it. Then you can also add some text this is the first button here. And you just do a sample. 
hello you've got that there you can also change the size of the text as well by going into edit go to bold underlined various different options you can go into the font change the font as well which is pretty cool so let me choose this one and then to change the text you just use two fingers make it bigger and have it displayed there as well this is the image tab you can see there's a whole bunch of emojis you can select pre-installed ones which are pretty nice you can also open the camera to take a picture if you want something to print so I can take a picture of the printer itself and then print that out so you can crop it like so there you go and it will create a kind of outline for it it won't be a color printed picture of it in photo quality because it only has one color in cartridge installed but nonetheless I would probably not use this too often so let me go ahead and just delete that one in terms of other pictures as well you can upload one from your gallery so I've got this nice picture of a cat there we go I can add that there as well and if you wanted to start again delete everything in here the second to last button there is to clear if you select that do you want to delete all images you click sure and it will cancel that out so now that everything is connected we are ready to print so let me go ahead and as my first example I'll print this by using the print button there at the end to send it to the printer and I'll just print it on a blank piece of paper okay in cartridge installed it's flashing green let's go ahead and send it it's now sending on the app you can see it's flashing blue once you get confirmation sending succeeded you just hold down the button there to print and then you swipe there you go very easy and if I just keep doing it it will be done many times so you can do this as long as you like until you change that to send something else to the printer so now let's go ahead and try and print on some different materials to see what we can actually achieve by using this handheld printer one thing i would really use this for is to print onto envelopes when i want to post something in the letterbox because i do post a lot of stuff you can just print off an address so i've just created a sample one here let's change the size like that it's quick and easy to do rather than wasting a whole a4 piece of paper i print it out i cut it out with scissors and then stick it on the envelope i can just print directly onto it it will save so much time so now I'll just go ahead, send this to the printer. Once it's done, the address will be ready on the envelope. Obviously this is a little bit small, so let's go ahead and increase the size of that. Resend it. There you go. I had to swipe twice because it's outside of the view frame of the actual window there. So this is pretty unique as well. I've noticed that it will go onto the same line if you continue swiping that way. And if I just stop and then go underneath, then I'll be able to do it. But you have to be very careful and making sure that doesn't mess up. Ideally, I would try to get it within the view frame. So if I do that one, resend this, maybe I'll just twist this around. It's probably better to do it all in one go. That's another scenario which I think is really cool next let's try and print it on a cup so i've got my coffee cup here and i've just created a little image with the name property of uma which is me let's go ahead send this across to the printer and see if this comes out now this is a dark brown cup it's made of bamboo it's very recyclable i'll try to see if the black ink cartridge comes out clearly on there but i'll try to do it on the silicone lid as well so there's two different types of material here to test it out on so let's see how this comes out very quick and easy can you guys see that obviously with the material it might be difficult to see but let's try the silicone on the top oh that's pretty quick and easy i really like that one although i didn't finish completely i stopped a little bit early but you can see the image it just comes out very clear and it looks like it's been a part of this lid for a long time which is quite impressive so printing on cups is absolutely fine now you can see that the bottom is like a concave shape and this is actually capable of printing on various different angles. So let me see if I can print this inwards like this and see how clear that comes out. Look at that. Absolutely, that's clear. And I had to twist it inwards. And again, the printing angles is pretty much is limitless. So I'm really impressed. I had to curve it around there. I curved it inwards. I pressed onto this. So 
very quick and easy to do now let's move on to another material so in this one i have my plastic lunch box i want to print it on top of the see-through plastic at the top there i've got a couple of images and i've got a statement to say this is my lunch make sure you keep your hands off let's see if it prints on this see-through plastic top so just sending it to the printer it's still connected there we go how quick and easy is this i'm pretty impressed with the speed that it prints at again there's a lot of printing you can do the battery life is really great on this i'm going to print it on the bottom as well just to cover all different aspects look at that so cool and one other thing that people might like to do is print logos and you might want to do this on clothing so let's see if i can print on a shirt all right guys so just for variety i've now switched the ink cartridge with the red one so i'm going to print red on my white t-shirt here so i've just put trending reviews on there as well just to see if it comes out just remember the size of the prints are limited to the size of the actual ink cartridge there as well so don't expect to have very large logos unless you print on multiple lines so let me go ahead and send this to the printer and i'll just put a little text there with my youtube name there we go how quick and easy is that let's also change the text a little bit change the font make sure to subscribe and finally don't forget to like this video so as you can see guys you can print this on a whole host of materials the only downside is that it's not waterproof so if you do take this out in conditions where you might splash some water on it then it could come off quite easily if you do print on glass then of course it'll be very easy to wipe off maybe get a wet napkin or a wet wipe but there's also so many good things about this it supports so many different emoticons fonts languages as well it's multi-language you can print on multiple lines as i was showcasing with the envelope and it also has multi-angle printing so like with the cup i can print on various different surfaces that cave in in different directions in different angles all, all on different materials which i think is absolutely great but the fact that this is so portable and you can take this anywhere you'd like and if you want to do some quick printing maybe do some prototypes of tattoos or see how specific text would come out on envelopes or you want to just print out something that you've done on a word document onto a paper via multi-line printing then you can also do that so i'm very impressed with this little device so definitely check this out all right guys so that covers the review now there's so many use cases for this to print on various different materials it's pretty much endless possibilities i'm very happy with this this comes in at 170 pounds on amazon i'll leave a link down below where you can check that out as always, make sure you subscribe. I've got tons of really cool gadget reviews coming out in the very near future, very similar to this. And I hope you like this video. Any questions you have, drop a comment. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Take care.